Hi guys, welcome back to Rav's Retreat. And no, I'm not trying to insult you. <laughs> this is a little bowl I made for my father. Um, he loves eating nuts. He's a real big peanut fan and uh, walnut fan. He loves eating them. So, I've been wood turning probably about a year maybe two years and I thought I'd make him a little nut tray or nut platter it's made out of sycamore which is quite a prolific tree over here it is actually classed as a pest tree although um, you wouldn't think that when you go and buy it because it's <laughs> it costs more than beech but uh, it's a nice wood that's when was it made there we go look 2006 so that is eight year ago isn't it nice little nice little uh, platter slash tray bowl he liked it anyway he thought it was quite uh, funny when I uh, showed it him. <laughs> right, I put that over there so it doesn't get damaged. I uh, a couple of videos ago we were talking about this thing, weren't we? Laburnum, this big old laburnum ball. So while I uh, just been up to the uh, into the house and I uh, fetched this down, it's the only piece of laburnum from the same batch as this which I've finished turned so I thought I'd fetch it down and show you what it looks like when it's finished turned now does that look you know does that not look beautiful I don't think there's a person in this world that would not agree that that looks beautiful it's one of the few trees in the UK that grow in the UK that are so heavy and dense and that have got such a such a contrasting sapwood and heartwood you've got your heartwood which is a beautiful brown almost black in, in areas and uh, you've got your sapwood which is this off-white creamy coloured white I'll show you the back I'm being really careful because I don't want to drop it and ding it because it as I've just mentioned it's the only piece of laburnum which well from this batch from the school batch which I've actually finished turned up to just but there we go and this is probably the most boringest piece look at the chatoyance there it's absolutely gorgeous beautiful look at it chatoyance goes from black to a light colour dark to light gorgeous and as I said, that is a boring piece. Can you imagine what this piece is going to look like? Look at what's going off here. This piece is going to look amazing. Compared to that piece, this piece is in a whole different league. It is actually a crotch pleat piece as well. As you can see, two branches there growing out of one it's going to make it amazing this here where it's loose I'll get in there with a pick and get all that loose out and then infill with uh, epoxy either coloured black or I may get clear epoxy and mix it with coffee grounds that works well as well or even uh, just powdered coffee 
coffee granules. That looks like a face there. It looks like somebody wearing a Scarlet Pimpernel mask. An eye, an eye, a nose, a bit of a mouth, and then there's the chin there. Weird. That's what it looks like through through this camera anyway. I don't know if you're all seeing that. Maybe it's just my strange imagination. But as I say, that's the uh, that's probably the most boringest piece that I got from that batch. And that looks beautiful. The chatoins from it is amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Right, I just thought I'd show you those couple of items, guys. I, the, the thing I really wanted to show you was this, you know, and then imagine what this is going to look like. It's going to be out of this world. When it's finished turn, guys, I will make you a video and show you, and then you can compare before and after. Oh, there's another piece that wants chipping out as well. All this will be filled with black resin. Right guys, we'll end this video here. It's a fairly short one, but uh, I just wanted to show you those couple of items. Uh, don't forget, there'll be another video following this, straight away. Catch you later guys. Take care in your uh, workshops, won't you? Watch those fingers, eyes, and most importantly, lungs, because it's damn hard to breathe without them. Take care guys, bye bye.